What's going on, guys? Seems like we have some sequel trilogy news here. Daisy Ridley says her new Star Wars movie is not what I expected. I think people will be very excited. Okay. <laughs> Back in April, fans of the Star Wars sequel trilogy got the surprise of a lifetime when it was announced that Daisy Ridley would be reprising her role as Rey in a brand new film set after the events of Rise of Skywalker. In an interview with Collider's Steve Weintraub for the Marsh King's Daughter, out on Digital Today, Ridley talked about her surprise appearance at Star Wars Celebration and how she already knows the plot of the film, which is not what she expected. As she told Weintraub, the announcement of a new film was news even prior to her appearance at Star Wars Celebration. Ridley recalls that when she spoke to Collider at Sundance Film Festival, for her film Sometimes I Think About Dying, she still hadn't been approached to reprise her role. I will tell you, Steve, when I saw you in Park City, I had not been approached. I was asked some, not by you, but I was asked something when I was there, and strangely, people were asking me stuff, and I was like, no, I'm not doing another one. Then it all happened after I came back. It was such a nice reception. I was shitting myself before I went on stage because no one knew I was going to that. No one knew I was going to Celebration. Bar, like Kathy Kennedy, and there were a couple of people. I was so nervous. Oh my god, it was such a wonderful reception. I'm very excited. The story is really cool. I'm waiting to read a script because obviously I don't have any other updates. It's not what I expected, but I'm very excited. As excited as fans are to see her return, there is also the question of whether Rey is returning for just one outing as Rey or if the new film could herald Star Wars' return to its trilogy roots. When Weintraub asked Ridley if her return to the galaxy far, far away would be the start of a new trilogy of films and whether she already knew what Rey's story would be, she didn't say whether it would be a trilogy or not, but her answer still offered some hope that this could be the start of more stories in this era. In Ridley's own words, I know the storyline for one film. That's not to say that that's all it is. One film. I guess it's going to be more. But that's what I was told about, and I imagine it will be the next film. I think, I mean, again, I don't know, post-strikes and everything, how quickly everything will start up again. But yes, yeah, so far I know the story of one film, and I think people will be very... Damn, uh, looks like we're getting episode 10, 11, 12, most likely. I mean, people can not call it that, but let's be real. It's the continuation from episode 9. They're doing a 15-year jump. You know, episode 3 to 4 was a 20-year jump. So what's the difference here? They just even have a smaller jump than in that gap. And then, I mean, episode 6 and 7 was like 30 years or something like that. So essentially, we're getting 10, 11, 12, I think. This is how I would... Uh, think of it. The fact that she doesn't know the plot, but she says people are going to be very excited and that she didn't expect it. I mean, some of the rumors, and these are just rumors, are in regards to her as Rey, 15 years later, creating a new Jedi Order of her own, and that there's going to be some sort of, um, I believe it's, it was like a fallen apprentice that she has that turns dark. And then there was going to be, there's talks of like a Sith or antagonist that's going to be played by Idris Elba or something like that, which I think would be cool. But as for what Finn is going to do and his whole role in it, you know, are they going to fix him up and make him super powerful or they, what are they really going to do? I don't know. I have no idea. But the fact that she doesn't know and she's saying I'm very excited really doesn't tell us anything because they say that about every new project that they're, you know, getting to work on. So for one reason or another. Now, what I think is going to happen is, you know, they're going to probably incorporate Luke in some sort of a force ghost way so that he's around in the film so that he, they think, you know, we have to put Luke in. Otherwise, the reception will be bad. That's long gone, man. People ain't people ain't coming to this movie to see Luke. If anything, I hope Luke is not in it so they just don't tarnish his character even more. Because after what they did, you know, there's no going back. So, I mean, yeah, look, we're, we're going to get the Ray movie. And I guess now we're finding out that there's going to be even more than one. So, all right, let's see what it's going to be about. Personally, I don't want this film. But I know there are lots of uh, sequel fans that like it. I just, I don't have a good feeling about that. I got a bad feeling about this is what I'm about to say. But, hey, I, I wish... Daisy Ridley the best, personally, as as an actor and person. But movie-wise, Star Wars fan-wise, no. Don't want this. I don't want this at all. But we'll see what happens. Let me know what you think about it. Catch you all in the next one.